In this video, we're going to show you how to find your Ledger hardware wallet address for Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. For more information on Ledger hardware wallets or for a written step-by-step -step guide, please check out everybethelps.io. If you're new to Ledger hardware wallets and the world of cryptocurrencies, specific tasks can seem confusing or daunting. For example, if you're looking to send or receive crypto to your Ledger hardware wallet, you're first going to need your wallet address. It's essential to choose the correct wallet address and the right network if there's multiple choices available, as if you make a mistake, you will risk losing your funds. So what is a cryptocurrency wallet address? Well, a cryptocurrency wallet address is a string of characters used to send and receive cryptocurrency. Similar to an address in the real world, each address is unique, and it also varies in terms of characters, numbers and length. If you want to send cryptocurrency to a wallet, you're going to need a cryptocurrency wallet address to send your funds to. Each cryptocurrency will have a different wallet address. Plus this may vary depending on if you select a different network or the blockchain that you're sending your funds on. For example, if you're sending Bitcoin, you're going to need to find your Bitcoin address to send to. In the world of crypto, transactions are non-retractable. So if you send Ethereum to a Bitcoin address, you will risk losing your funds. Therefore, it's crucial to find the correct wallet address for your deposit. And with the likes of a ledger wallet, whenever you receive a transaction for Bitcoin or Bitcoin-based crypto assets, your address will change. In the case of other crypto assets like Ethereum, XRP and Stellar, etc., the address remains the same. And with Ledger Live, you can easily view your account balances, send and receive cryptocurrencies and install and uninstall apps on your device. So let's see how we can find our wallet addresses on Ledger. To interact with your Ledger, you're going to need to have Ledger Live, and that's a desktop and mobile app that allows you to manage your Ledger hardware wallet. To do this, you need to visit the official Ledger website at ledger.com and download the appropriate version for your device using the drop-down option or the QR code. Once installed, you'll need to open the app and follow the on-screen prompts to set up your Ledger Live account. And if you need a little bit more help with this, then you can check out our full Ledger Live tutorial. And always remember to keep your Ledger device and your Ledger app updated for the best security and functionality. For the purposes of the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to be demonstrating this with Ledger Live on my desktop. But I'll later show you this on my mobile too. And there'll be a timeline in the summary so that you can jump to that if you wish. So to find your wallet address for Bitcoin, from the Ledger Live dashboard, choose Accounts on the left-hand side of your screen. If you haven't already added your desired cryptocurrency account, click on the plus Add Account button in the top right. Then you need to follow the prompts to add your account, which includes selecting your crypto asset, selecting your device, and creating your account. Then once your account is added, it'll appear in the accounts list. The first example I'm going to show you is how to get your Ledger Bitcoin wallet address. So from the list, I'm going to select my Bitcoin account. Then from the next screen, you'll see the action buttons at the top. And from here, we can choose the receive button and a pop up window will then appear. So because our account is automatically selected to credit, I'm going to choose continue. You'll then be prompted to connect and unlock your Ledger device. Then open the Bitcoin app on your device. You'll then see your address shown in the centre of the screen, which you can copy from here. Or you can click here where it says show QR code and it will then show your QR code to scan with a mobile device and this contains your address. Or you can also copy from here. You'll then need to verify that the shared address exactly matches the one that's displayed on your device by checking and then approving that on your Ledger hardware wallet. And the reason why you need to verify is in case your computer is compromised and it's to ensure that the address shown on your screen can be trusted. And you can now share this address with others to receive payments or to interact with various blockchain services. And as I said, whenever you receive funds from Bitcoin or Bitcoin Cash, your address will change. So you'll need to repeat this process when sharing your Bitcoin wallet address to multiple sources by choosing to receive, continue, and then copying and approving the address. So I'm going to quickly show you now the process for Ethereum, which is exactly the same. However, this time 
from the account screen, you're going to be selecting your Ethereum account from the list. And again, if you don't already have an Ethereum account set up, you can click on the Add button in the top right. Then choose Receive. Continue. And this time you'll need to open the Ethereum app on your hardware device instead. Then copy your address and verify and approve the address shown on your Ledger hardware device exactly matches the one shown on screen. And with Ethereum, your address will always stay the same, unlike with Bitcoin. Then finally, I'm going to show you how to find your wallet address if you don't have your Ledger hardware wallet available. Then the example that I'm going to show you is with Ethereum. So if I choose to receive again and continue, this time I don't have my Ledger hardware wallet plugged in because say for example I left it at home and now I'm out and about and I need to provide someone with my Ethereum address. So in this case I'm going to choose the don't have your device hyperlink in the bottom right and my address will then appear as it did before. However, just be aware here that this is less secure because you can't verify it with your Ledger device and this will obviously come at your own risk. But you can then simply copy it from here and share it with others. Next, I'll show you how to perform this on mobile. If you've not already downloaded and synced your account, then you can check out our full tutorial. And when you open up Ledger Live on your mobile, you're going to reach your wallet. So to find your wallet addresses, Click onto the crypto asset from the bottom here. And in this example, I'm going to select Bitcoin again, which then takes you to your Bitcoin screen. If we then select receive from the quick action buttons, then the account that you want your Bitcoin deposited into, you're going to be presented with a pop-up message recommending that you verify your ledger to ensure that it's not compromised and to verify your address. You're then going to be prompted to pair your ledger with Bluetooth if you've not already done so. And then you'll need to select the device from the list. Then verify the address shown on screen is the same as what's on your device by approving that on your ledger hardware wallet. And at the top of the screen, you'll now see that your address is verified in green. So we can now copy the address from here or scan the QR code, which also contains our address. Next, I'm going to show you how to find your Ethereum address. So from the wallet screen again on your Ledger Live mobile app, choose Ethereum from the list of crypto assets. Then receive. And you'll then need to select the ETH account from the list that you want to be credited. Again, you'll receive the warning message recommending that you verify your address. Well, you'll need to open your Ethereum app on your device and approve. And once that's verified, again, you can copy or scan your Ethereum address. And that's all you need to do to find your Ledger hardware wallet addresses. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to our website at everybithelps.io for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.